Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. Playing it safe or playing politics, however you explain Governor Rick Scott's estimate of a Medicaid expansion, one thing's for sure, it's creating controversy. State economists put a $10 billion price tag on the expansion made optional by the Affordable Care Act. One figure from the Agency for Healthcare Administration lowers the cost to $3 billion. But Scott made national headlines last week by touting a $26 billion estimate. Scott entered politics to defeat the new health care laws, but a failed lawsuit in the nation's highest court and a defeat for Republicans in the 2012 presidential election left him little choice but to play ball. Except when it comes to extending Medicaid to an additional 900,000 Floridians. Each state can opt out of the extension. Democrats think Scott is inflating the cost to build a case against the expansion. So by overestimating it, it will seem like a weight to the people of Florida and at the same time, uh, something that's not sustainable and fundable. Last week, the woman Scott picked to lead ACA refused to explain the conflicting estimates. Actually, at this point in time, we've put out our numbers, our assumptions are there, and I don't really have anything more to say about it. So Monday, we caught up with the governor and asked why. The Florida Agency for Healthcare Administration has put out different numbers based on assumptions. Now, the question is, is the federal government going to fund what they said they're going to fund? Since the feds have already agreed to pay a huge portion of the expansion to get to the $26 billion mark, Congress would actually have to change the law. Scott cites the recent fiscal cliff battle as proof it's possible. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray.